space. So, uh, good morning. Today we are going to discuss the surface mining technology. In this diagram, you are able to see the shape and size of a surface mine and their bench system, etc. So uh, you know that the mining is extracting the ore or minerals from the ground. And ore is a natural material which occurs in the earth crust with a high concentration of economically valuable minerals that can be mined for a profit. To get the profit, you have to mine the minerals. That is the aim of the mining. So you know that uh, there are two main types of mining are there. One is called surface mining. The other one is called your subsurface mining. Subsurface mining is your underground mining. There are two methods of mining there. One is surface mining. The other one is subsurface mining, which is called your underground mining. OK, so uh, in this topic, in, see, in this semester, you are going to study about the surface mining technology. About the other subject that is your subsurface mining, underground mining, you are having a separate class. Some other teacher will teach you about the subsurface mining, which is your underground mining technology. So uh, these are some of the mining methods, means a mode of entry to the mines, how to get into the mine and exploit the mineral deposits. OK, so the, um, uh, this is the shaft mining. Shaft means you have to sink a vertical shaft. This is underground mining. This is underground mining by vertical shaft. You reach to the bottom of the um, deposit to exploit the mineral leaves. So this is shaft mining and this is incline mining. So from the surface, you drive a incline and get into the mine and exploit them. So these are all underground mining methods. And this is audit mining. Third one is your audit mining. And fourth one is your open cast mining, which we are interested. The fourth one, this figure at the bottom is your open cast mining. So the open cast mining is carried out by the help of the excavators by the help of this is a drag line excavator and this is the coal deposit is being exploited by the help of the drag line okay so this is a, an overview of the uh, mining methods all these three uh, first second third they are underground mining methods so underground mining is carried out by vertical shafts by inclined shafts by adits horizontal shafts, whereas the open cast mining technology uh, uses the excavators like your drag lines, shovels to exploit the coal deposit by removing the overburden lying above the coal deposit. So this is the mode of entry to the mining uh, to get the minerals. So these mining methods uh, are classified into underground mining methods, open cast mining methods, special mining methods. So the special mining methods are like your hydraulic mining and gasification. Nowadays, you know that coal gasification uh, method is also a method by the help of which the mining is carried out. Our focus is open cast mining method. So what is open cast mining method? Open cast mining is also known as open pit mining. The open cast mining is also known as open pit mining. 
Open cut mining, also people call it open cut mining, open pit mining, surface mining, or strip mining. These are the different versions, different terminologies used for open cast mining. So if somebody is speaking open cast mining, means it may be open pit mining, it may, it may be open cut mining, it may be surface mining, or it may be strip mining. All these terms are applicable to surface mining technology. So the coal up to economical depth, coal up to the economical depth will be excavated by open cast method. The overburden and the coal are excavated in long strips of a few meters thickness. So this is open cast mining. So surface mining method is based on the system of mining, whether it is a continuous mode of mining or a discontinuous mode of mining. So in the previous classes, we have discussed the continuous mode of mining by using the surface miners, by using the bucket wheel excavators, they are the continuous mode of mining. And the discontinuous mode of mining, we have seen shovel dumper mining, drag line mining, they are the discontinuous mode of mining. Based on the mechanization, the mines are classified into four categories. Uh, uh, manual mines are there, where there is no machine, only manual operations are carried out, manual mining, uh, semi-mechanized mining and mechanized mining and highly mechanized mines. There are four classes of mines are there based on the machines used. So uh, the first category of mines are called your manual mines where no machine is used or uh, where only manual force manpower is used for the exploitation of the mineral deposits. And there are some semi-mechanized mines are there. There are some mechanized mines are there. There are some highly mechanized mines are also there. So based on the method and the nature of mining, open pit mining uh, is nothing but uh, ap reclamation after completion. The, in open pit mining, Reclamation is carried out after completion of the mining, whereas open cast mining is carried out by uh, the drag line or other machines during the mining process. So what is reclamation? Means after the mineral is taken out from the earth crust, you get a depressed land. A, uh, uh, dip, uh, you get a void and that void is to be filled up by the waste materials after mining is done. So that is called your reclamation. Land should be brought back to its original um, form. So the open pit mining uh, is uh, the process where reclamation is carried out after the mining is over. Whereas in the case of open cast mining, whereas in the case of open cast mining, reclamation is carried out during mining. Reclamation is carried out during mining. Okay, so then what is a quarry? Quarries, quarries are stone quarries, crossed rock quarries, sand and gravel stone, crossed rock, sand and gravel are mined by quarries. Those are small quarries. So the quarries means uh, the stone mining, crossed rock mining, sand mining, gravel mining, they are called your quarries. Then what is strip mining? Strip mining is removing the surface coal in strips up to a 50 meter wide and one kilometer long distance strip mining that is called your strip mining removing the surface coal in strips up to 50 meter wide and one kilometer long 
Then there is another method which is called placer mining. This is carried out for the placer deposits. And we have already discussed about glory hole mining in the previous classes. So these are the different surface mining methods used for the exploitation of the mineral deposits. So what is mechanized open cast mining? Open cast methods are uh, called mechanized mining methods if they are using the following equipments. So the uh, the open cast mining methods can be classified. Mechanized open cast mining methods can be classified as shovel dumper combination. Shovel is used for loading the material. Dumper is used for transportation of the material. So this is called your shovel dumper combination mining. And uh, this is shovel dumper combination with drag line. So we have seen drag line is used for the removal of the over burden. OK, so. Uh, where the shovel and dumper is used for uh, mining the coal deposits. So this method is called your shovel dumper combination with drag line, which we have also discussed in the previous classes. Then we have also discussed in pit crossing and conveying technology. This also we have discussed what is in pit crossing and conveying system. Then we have also discussed surface miner. I have shown you uh, in the last class yesterday what is a surface miner, how the surface miner is used for exploitation of the soft mineral deposits, coal deposits. Then we have also discussed about the bucket wheel excavators uh, for the mining of lignite deposits. Bucket wheel excavators are used. So that also we have discussed. We have not discussed yet about high wall mining. What is high wall mining? Uh, we have not discussed. We'll discuss in the subsequent classes. So uh, in the previous classes, we have discussed about the bucket wheel excavator, surface miner, in pit crossing and conveying system, shovel dumper combination with drag line mining, shovel dumper combination only. So these are the different mechanized open cast mining methods we have seen. So uh, where the open cast mining can be used? What is the ideal condition for suitable uh, to study um, uh, to adopt open cast mining method? Uh, what is the suitable condition? What is ideal condition, suitable condition for open cast mining? So as we have seen, the thickness of coal seam should be more than 5 meter. Uh, if you are going to adopt with the open cast mining method, then you should have a coal seam of uh, more than 5 meter thickness. And uh, it should be a flat gradient. It should be a flat deposit, horizontal deposit, flat gradient less than 1 in 6. Because as we have seen, if the uh, uh, deposit is steep deposit, then it will be difficult for you to go for uh, transportation by the help of the dumpers. Then the strike length of the deposit should be more than one kilometer. Then only you can adopt the open cast mining method. And uh, uh, the number of seams, coal seams, less the better with higher thickness is desirable and coal without stone bands should be there there should not be any stone bands the coal should not contain any stone bands then it will be very suitable for open cast mining method and the uh, deposit should be free from surface structures and features uh, the mineral where it is lying above the surface no other structure should be there no other feature should be there Preferably, non-forest land is desirable for adopting the open cast mining method. So these are the <coughs> some of the advantages of open cast mining method. So sir, the sir, first, uh, yes. Sir, uh, what is one in six? One in six, that is a gradient. Uh, you know that uh, slope. That is the slope. One in six means slope. 
means one, uh, <coughs> one is your uh, uh, height, six is your length. So you'll get a triangle, are yes, you not? No, so that is so that usually the gradient is uh, measured in angle also. It can it will sub it will have an angle of inclination in a triangle. So vertical there is a vertical uh, uh, line. There is a horizontal line, isn't it? So yes, sir. Uh, so the horizontal line is six. Vertical line is uh, one. So then it is called one in six. Gradient is one in six. So it will have some angle, is not it, in the triangle? Yes, so yes, that is the inclination of the uh, deposit or inclination of the road. Angle of inclination of the road. So that is called your one in six means that is the meaning of gradient. Gradient. Is yes, there gradients are measured in that fashion? And you can also calculate from the triangle, the angle by tan formula. Ten, okay. Ten in one by six. Yes. So uh, these are the advantages of open cast mining methods. So in open cast mining, there is no need of any ventilation. So have you studied underground mining? Have you studied underground mining methods? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Have you studied yes, ventilation? Ventilation? No, sir. Yes, no. Sir. Okay. No, not no, not, not yet, sir. Okay. Okay. So in underground mining, you need ventilation, ventilating air. Uh, whereas in open cast mining, this is not necessary uh, because you are going to work on the open environment. So there is no need of uh, ventilation or there is no problem of ventilation in surface mines. And there is no problem of roof control and support. And you have seen that in underground mining, you have to erect the roof, uh, you have to erect the supports to uh, um, control the roof fall. So, which is not there in open cast mining. There is no problem of roof control and support. And there is no problem of lighting in the daytime. You know that the open cast mines are open. So, there is no need of lighting. Whereas if it is an underground mine, then you have to take, you have to go down the mine with a cap lamp to work inside the mine because uh, uh, of the dark environment. Whereas in open cast mining, you are getting the sun's light, natural light you are getting. So these are the major three advantages of open cast mining. First is there is no ventilation. What is ventilation? Ventilation means uh, if you are working in the underground mines, so uh, you need oxygen. So for that purpose, you have to supply fresh oxygen by the help of ventilating fans to the underground mine so that the people who are working inside the mine, they will get sufficient oxygen uh, to work comfortably inside the mine. Uh, whereas in open cast mines, there is no need of ventilation, no need of fan because it is open environment. Uh, the environment is open, so you are getting fresh air already. And, uh, and there is no need of roof control and support system in the open cast mines, whereas in underground mines, you have to support the roof, otherwise the roof will fall down. Uh, and third one, there is no need of lighting in the uh, surface mines, whereas in underground mines, you need uh, lighting, means uh, artificial uh, uh, light, means uh, uh, you have to take the cap lamp or some other lighting system to uh, work inside the underground mines. So these are the major three advantages of open cast mining. The other advantages are the percentage of coal extraction is much higher. 90% coal can be extracted from the surface mining projects. Whereas in underground mining, you get only 30 to 60 percent coal. Rest of the coal is left in the pillars. If you take out the pillars, they will the roof will fall down. So in surface mining, you can go up to 90 percent extraction of recovery of the deposit. Whereas in underground mining, 
you can go up to only 30 to 60 percent. Rest of the minerals you have to leave uh, to give support to the uh, roof. And if you have studied the board and pillar method of mining, board and pillar method of mining, what is done? You take out the boards and leave the pillars. The pillars will support, give support to the roof so that the roof will not fall down. So if you take out the pillars, the roof will fall down. So that is the reason why uh, you are able to exploit only 30 to 60 percent uh, of the mineral. The rest of the minerals are left in the mine uh, as pillars. Whereas in the case of open cast mining, 90 percent extraction can be carried out. Recovery is 90 percent. Okay, then in open cast mines, you get high OMS output per man per shift. Per man per shift, high output you get in open cast mines. And um, uh, productivity and profits are more in open cast mines. Productivity and profits, you get more profits in open cast mines because there is no need of a ventilating fan, there is no need of support system, there is no need of uh, artificial lighting so therefore you get much production and you get more profits from the surface mining projects so that is the reason why uh, throughout the world everybody is uh, preferring to go for surface mining method uh, instead of going for underground mining method and uh, you get quick returns on capital investment whatever money you have spent uh, for purchase of the equipments uh, you will get back your money very quickly, quick returns on capital investment and uh, dangers and hazards are very less compared to the underground mines. Dangers and hazards are not there in open cast mines compared to the underground mines, whereas in underground mines a lot of hazards are there. Uh, so have you studied underground hazards? Hazard and rescue? Hazard and no, rescue? Sir. Uh, no, sir, still not. Okay, so uh, next semester I am going to teach you about the uh, hazards and rescue in underground mines. So in open cast mines, there is no danger of hazards compared to the underground mines. And uh, in open cast mines, there is no risk of gas explosion. Usually the coal mine gas, methane gas explosion takes place and fire take place and a lot of people uh, suffer because of the explosion. So these problems are not there in open cast mines. So these are the advantages of open cast mining compared to the underground mining. And there are a little bit of uh, disadvantages are also there uh, if you are going for open cast mining. So uh, the major disadvantage of open cast mining is work is going to affect because of the weather condition. In rainy season, uh, you cannot work in the open cast mines. The mine will be flooded with water. It is affected by the weather. And uh, uh, in summer season, because of the heat, because of the high temperature, people may not be able to work um, in the surface mines. Similarly, in uh, winter, um, this season, uh, if there is snowfall, if there is very cold weather, people will also uh, uh, not be uh, getting proper environment to work. So work suffers in the inclement weather. If the weather is very bad weather, you uh, cannot work comfortably in open cast mining. So this is one of the disadvantages of open cast mining. And uh, if you are going for open cast mining, the land is going to be degraded by mining. So land degradation will be taking place. The land which was used earlier for cultivation will be uh, used for mining. So land will be degraded. And if it is a forest land, you have to cut the uh, uh, trees, which is called your deforestation. So a lot of deforestation will be carried out uh, to go for mining 
and there will be pollution, water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, land degradation, noise pollution, vibration. All these things are associated with open cast mining. Water pollution, air pollution, land degradation, noise pollution will be there in open cast mines. So the method is on economic for workings, deeper depths. If the depth of a current of the mineral deposit is very high, then it is on economy. And if the uh, mineral is lying uh, below a city or under the sea or river, also you cannot go for open cast mine. And the quarried area after the mining, the quarried area and overburden dump heaps present on unpleasant site. The quarried area after mining is done and the overburden dumps which you have dumped heaps um, will create unpleasant site. So these are the disadvantages of open cast mining method. There are many advantages are there and these are some of the disadvantages of open cast mining. Okay. So here you can see how the open cast mining is carried out and what are the terminologies used in open cast mining. Okay. So the, the open cast mining is carried out with benches. So this is the top bench, this is the height of the bench, this is the bench face, this is the bench face, this is the height of the bench, and this is the road and the ramp width through which the dumpers have to move, and this is the toe of the bench, this is the crest of the bench, and this is the bench angle, bench slope angle, and this is the bench height, and the overall to uh, overall pit slope angle is the angle which is obtained um, by joining a line from the toe of the bottom bench to the crest of the top bench this line so this is this will give you the overall pit slope angle okay and this is the bottom of the pit floor bottom pit floor and uh, this side uh, these benches are higher so this is warm width. This side there is no mineral. Mining is carried out on the right side. Left side is the uh, uh, you have already taken out the minerals. So th therefore here you are just leaving a berm, and the purpose of leaving the berm is to arrest the falling materials. Falling if any rock piece is falling down, so it will be arrested by this berm width. Otherwise it will go down the pit and it will affect the people who are uh, working at the bottom of the pit. So these are some of the terminologies used in open cast mining. And this is the uh, jointing plane, bedding planes, and this is the footwell structure. So this is the way how the mining, surface mining is carried out. And, and the final pit outline will go up to this level uh, and the left side is your final pit outline right side is your active pit outline this side the mining is carried out so these are the terminologies used for surface mining and uh, we have seen that uh, stripping ratio is a very important ratio in surface mining we have also discussed in the previous classes so what is stripping ratio? It is amount of overburden removed in mining a unit of mineral. Like for manual quarrying, it is 1.5 is to 1. For semi-mechanized quarrying, it is 2 is to 1. Uh, uh, 1.5 is to 1, the meaning is to get 1 ton of mineral, you have to remove 1.5 cubic meter of overburden. Similarly, for so these are the various mining methods we have seen manual mining semi mechanized mining mechanized mining and highly mechanized mining so um, for manual mining the stripping ratio should be 1.5 is to 1 so uh, this 1.5 is your uh, 1.5 cubic meter of overburden is to be removed to get 1 ton of mineral similarly for mechanized semi mechanized mining two cubic meter of overburden is to be removed to get one ton of mineral that is called two is to one and for mechanized quarrying 
with deeper shovel and dumper. Shovel dumper combination. Uh, if you are using shovel dumper combination mining, the uh, stripping ratio should be four to five is to one. So uh, four uh, or five cubic meter of overburden is to be removed to get one ton of mineral. If you are using the drag lines, it can go up to eight to ten is to one. If you are using the bucket wheel excavators, it will be three to four is to one. So like that, the stripping ratio is the ratio which will give you the profitability of your mining organization. So this is the layout of open pit mine. This is the ground surface. This is the overburden. This is the bench height. This is the ramp. These are the ores. These are the craters. This is the haulage roads. So this is showing the layout of an open cast mine. So th the different operations which are carried out in an open cast mining project is leveling by the dozing. Dozers are used for leveling the surface, drilling. Mm, drill machines are used for drilling, blasting. Uh, explosives are used for blasting the rock. And after that, you remove the overburden, then dump the overburden in the backfield area for reclamation purpose. Then extraction of the coal is carried out and the coal is transported to the coal handling plant CHP to the coal separation plant. OK, and flawed loading system or rapid loading system. So these are the different operations carried out in an open cast mining project. So the operations in open cast mining project are depicted in this diagram. You just see. So this side is the reclamation carried out. This side reclamation is carried out. OK, these are the top soiling and rehabilitation of mined area to uh, uh, plant trees. And this is the uh, uh, bulldozer used for leveling the surface. And here the dump trucks are taking the material and dumping the material here. And this side the mining is carried out and the overburden material is dumped, taken to the waste dump and mineral is taken out. So these are the operations you carry out in the upon cast mines. So here this shovel is loading coal uh, to the dumpers. OK, so uh, these are some, and these are the drill machines used for drilling the uh, holes. These are some of the operations carried out in open cast mining. So this environment is open. That's why it is called open cast mining. It is open to the environment, outer environment. OK, then uh, how the Sequence of mining carried out in open cast mines. Development sequence. Development sequence. First, you have to open the deposit by access trench. Then you have to cut the box cut to accommodate all the equipment. Then there are mine phases are to be carried out depending on the shape of the property, progress of the benches, coal production schedule, Overburden excavation schedules, maximize inventory of coal in the initial years, differ uh, overburden stripping requirements as much as possible, average stripping ratio versus the natural stripping ratio, income generated in the first five to ten years, but not remote economics will either make or break the project. Profits for the future have practical no impact on the project net present value. Each successive phase will be less profitable and the ultimate limit will be less even after plowing in profits earlier. OK, so this uh, how the different stages of operation carried out in an open cast project. Let us see the different stages of operations which are carried out in an open cast project. So this is you just see. You see this diagram. This is the top surface. This is the surface where trees are there. Forest land is there. These trees 
number of trees are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 on the surface six trees are shown this is forest land and right side non forest land this is the surface non forest land where people are living or doing cultivation okay so uh, below that you are having a coal seam inclined coal seam this is the inclination of the coal seam and above the coal above the coal seam you are having the rocks you are having the uh, subsoil you are having the topsoil so topsoil then subsoil then rocks then below that you are having the coal seam so you want to mine the coal seam then what is to be done the coal seam is dipping downwards and this arrow shows the dipping coal seam downwards in an inclined manner and uh, above that you are having the overburden material topsoil subsoil rocks which are to be removed this topsoil uh, is to be removed this trees are to be cut uh, so deforestation is, is to be carried out to uh, mine the coal seam and on the right side non forest land where maybe some villages may be there some people may be living on this surface some people may be doing cultivation on this surface so they have to be also evacuated uh, to get the minerals so uh, this is the first phase you have to carry out second phase uh, you have started uh, stage one uh, so the forest land uh, you have uh, removed the trees out of six trees four trees are already removed another two trees are lying on the right side and you have started the mining because uh, from the uh, outcrop area from the uh, area where coal is lying at a lesser depth so you have started mining on the uh, outcrop you know that in crop and outcrop if the coal is very near to the surface or exposed to the surface it is called outcrop if it is very near to the surface or it is exposed to the surface it is called outcrop so you have started mining from here so that coal you are getting so this is the dump area where there is no mineral you are dumping the waste materials in the external dump yard okay so uh, this is the first stage of your mining uh, these are the benches you are forming then second stage then second stage you go down and uh, from this area you have already taken out the coal and the waste material you have dumped here internal dump this is the external dump this is the internal dump after the mining is done after the minerals are taken out coal is taken out then internal dumps are created where the overburden material is dumped here this is the second stage and this is the surface no forest land non forest land already forest is already uh, you have already cut the trees deforestation is already done this is the second stage then third stage you see the third stage you go down and down and uh, uh, these are the uh, uh, waste materials you have dumped here in the external dump in the internal dump and these are the waste dump uh, uh, these green colors the benches these are uh, waste dump uh, waste dump slopes or waste dump benches means these are waste materials these are waste materials so which is called your spoil dump this 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 green is called your spoil dump so uh, below this uh, blue color is your rocks and above that you are spreading the soil so that this soil can be used for plantation in future and on the right side you are proceeding downwards to get the minerals coal then this is the final stage in the final stage you have already taken out the coal from this area and uh, you have forest land created in the internal dump you have to create the forest land you have to plant the trees in this area which is called your reclamation so after the coal is taken out the waste material is dumped here to create the forest land and this is the layout 
on the right side of the bench. Then the mine closure stage. After the mining is carried out, you have to close the mine. So uh, again, you have uh, generated uh, trees here, planted trees here, forest land. This was forest land. So initially you caught six trees, but uh, uh, you have to plant more trees. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine trees you have planted. So which is called your for, uh, afforestation, which is called your afforestation. Initially, you caught six trees to get the minerals from the forest land. And after the mining is carried out, when you are going to close the mine, you have planted nine trees. So whatever trees you have got, you should plant more trees compared to the number of trees you have got. And this is the land filled with overburden material. So uh, uh, in, after filling the uh, land with waste materials, uh, reclamation is carried out up to 45 meter below the ground level. So above that, there is some water bodies there. Here water, internal dump, water bodies there. So this is the way the mine is closed. Okay, so those are the different operations carried out in open cast mining. Then uh, you have to design the pit. Pit, the open pit mine is to be designed which we are going to take up in the next class. Today we have given, I have given you some of the um, definitions, unit operations, methods used for surface mining. And uh, in the next class, we'll discuss how to design the open pit mines, how to design the open pit mines. So how to design the open pit mines. So today uh, uh, just uh, we have discussed uh, some of the operations which are carried out in open cast mines. Uh, what is a, uh, in the previous classes also we have discussed the continuous mode of mining using the surface miners, bucket wheel excavators, drag lines, shovel dumper mining, etc. And uh, uh, today we have discussed about the different phases of mining. Uh, uh, if it is and what are the advantages and disadvantages of open cast mining? All these things we have discussed to today. So thank you for listening. Have a nice day. We'll again meet in the next week and continue how to design an open pit mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Thank you.